Hi, this is Josh Stern. And Michael Walters. We're with the Stern team at Keller Williams. And our goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so that you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling, home buying, and home investing goals. So today we want to talk about co-borrowers and, and, and co-borrowing. See, in the last five years, we've seen home values increase here along the Wasatch Front over 30%. Along with the recent interest rates increases, affordability has actually been affected, in particular with our first time home buyers. So we're finding more and more people that work together, like friends, family members, they're actually buying properties together. And it makes sense. See, rather than waiting until they can afford something on their own, which is a risky proposition with the continued interest rate increases, they're actually compounding their efforts for home ownership. So thinking long term on this, many of our co-borrowers co are creating long term partnerships of five or ten years or whatever they're comfortable with. I see them create LLCs to spell out the terms of their partnership and I've also simply seen them take title as tenants in common versus common joint tenancy. Yeah. Tenancy in common imposes joint and several liability of tenants, meaning each owner can be liable for things like property taxes and also deduction on taxes equal to the amount he or she paid. Tenancy is essentially allowing for multiple people to share interest in real property while retaining a lot of the freedoms that can be restricted in a joint tenancy. So if you'd like to buy real estate but you're not able to and you have a friend who'd like to buy real estate but they're not able to consider partnering up together. Consider the same if you have a family member who's interested in purchasing real estate either to live in or simply to invest in because you can compound this purchasing power in this way. This is something that I've done for my own investment strategy um, multiple times and I'd love to share with you exactly how I did this. Remember that when you are purchasing a property as a partnership that both credit scores must be used and the lowest credit score of either of the buyers will be the credit score that determines the financing ability as well as the interest rate. So I hope you found this useful and if you have any further questions please don't hesitate to call. Additionally if there's a topic you'd like us to cover please reach out by phone or email and thank you again for watching our video blog.